Hi, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I'm going to try something a little bit different in this video. I'm going to do a vintage show and tell. Usually I do my vintage finds over on the blog, but there are some things that just won't be captured well with a couple of still pictures. So I bought these back in 2015 and hadn't figured out how to share them to the best of my ability until I decided to try doing a video. So these are, they weigh a ton. They are four binders. I found them at my local thrift store propped against a table leg. And they're different than anything I'd seen, so I stopped and picked them up. And they're these really heavy duty canvas covered four ring binders. I'm not into altered books. I've never done one yet, but it was $3 for the whole set of four, and I thought these needed to come home with me. They're Famous Artist's Painting Course, all four volumes, all 24 lessons. And at first I thought it might be the company that did those Tippy the Turtle ads that you used to see in the backs of comic books and on match covers. I got home and did some research, and Tippy the Turtle belonged to the Art Instruction Schools. This is one of their competitors, the Famous Authors Painting Course, or the Famous Authors Courses. They offered courses in cartooning, illustrating, painting, writing, and photography. The one I was lucky enough to find was painting. I, I always wondered what that Tippy the Turtle Company was when I was a little kid. So to have one of these to play with was just neat. I looked it up online and in the night the company started in the 1940s. By the 1950s, the complete course was selling for $300, which wow, that seems like a lot of money for 1950. This is the night 1965 edition, I think it said, so I'm sure the price had only gone up by then. One of the things that makes me curious and a little sad about this set is someone signed up in January of 1969. They marked their target date for their first mail-in assignment as February 2nd, but they didn't track any grades or remarks. There are assessment forms that were meant to be cut out and mailed in with each assignment. And I have assessment form number four and what looks like all the assessment forms after that. So someone spent a lot of money on this correspondence course and then they never did the course. So I'm curious. I wish, I hope that something wonderful happened to them and they went on to greater and better things and that they didn't feel scammed by the company, but I know this company had complaints against them and I think this might be the same parent company that did the famous writers course, which back in middle school I took their test that I found in the back of a writing magazine and mailed it in and passed and qualified for their correspondence course, which we never did sign me up for. So I've always been curious about these. I bought these, when I bought these, I bought them because they were neat and they were old and I wanted them. But one of my sons at the time was really into painting with acrylics and canvas and I thought he might like to play around with them. Turns out he'd rather learn from YouTube and self-experimentation and honestly, if you have the choice <laughs> between YouTube and the famous artist's painting course books, you're probably going to learn more from videos on the internet. But they're neat. I'm glad I bought them. It was a really good $3 spent. At the time I bought these, the school was, according to my internet research, still in operation, but it looks like they closed at the end of 2016. I'm sure there are lots of better ways to learn to be a painter in 2019 than there were in 1969. 
thank you for watching. I I'm glad I got the chance to share these with you. Let me know, would you have picked these up if you'd found them at the thrift store for three bucks? What have you found that you haven't been able to resist, even though it was something you might not have even thought existed before the day you saw it leaning there against a table leg? I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.